Artificial intelligence is applying the strengths of computers to problems that previously required human intelligence. AI is not new. Commercial AI applications include GPS driving instructions, facial recognition, and voice-based assistants, including Alexa and Siri. All computers, even the most powerful, can only understand zeros and ones. AI requires turning real-world tasks into these zeros and ones. In a simplified version of a traditional web search, you type a query into a search box. The computer digitizes your search term, meaning it converts the letters into zeros and ones. Then it looks for that pattern of zeros and ones in other documents and returns the results. This approach is limited. Because the computer simply converted letters into numbers, it thinks cat is similar to hat, but unrelated to kitten. Many questions require a deeper understanding than three letters. AI systems encode words with numeric scores across many dimensions, representing how the word is used in language. ChatGPT, for example, uses 1,536 dimensions. You can think of this scoring system as similar to product ratings. We can score shoes on several dimensions, including fit, style, durability, and trendiness. A word's list of numeric scores is known as its vector. Vectors are made up of hundreds of dimension scores, each capturing an aspect of the word's meaning. Vectors are at the core of how AI works. We can vectorize anything that has meaning, not just individual words, but blocks of text, images, and sounds. The other important technology behind today's AI is the neural network. Neural networks are modeled on the brain's complex structure of interconnected neurons. Instead of neurons, they consist of billions of bits of computer memory called parameters or weights that are programmed to perform simple calculations. Woven together in a network, these digital neurons process information fed to them in the form of vectors. These two technologies, neural networks and vector embedding, combine to form the Large Language Model, or LLM. An LLM computes what vector or set of vectors are most likely to follow any other set of vectors. Enter, a young cat is called, and it will calculate a kitten. In sum, LLMs are prediction machines. The most common human interaction with an LLM today takes place with a chatbot, such as GPT. These systems query the neural network directly, which generates responses based on the knowledge it gained by crawling much of the internet. But chatbots can also be pointed at any discrete set of information. We've done this at PropG Media. We assembled 500,000 plus words of my writing drawn from our weekly newsletters, our podcasts, and books. Our chatbot then uses that content to inform its predictions of how I would likely answer your question. What a thrill. Just as we personalized our PropG chatbot, companies are doing the same to create custom assistants. These can accomplish information-based tasks, such as making travel reservations, and take actions in the physical world, such as powering robots to ship our packages and drive our cars. These advances are based on the power of vector embedding, which converts information about the world, from language to road signs, into zeros and ones. And neural networks, which can perform complex statistical calculations on those vectors to generate logical responses. The gap between what we can do with human reasoning and what computers can do with zeros and ones is vast. However, these technologies are true innovation and are narrowing that gap.